With the NFL Combine officially starting this week, a lot of teams are deciding what they're going to do with those draft picks, especially at the top of the draft board. And when it comes to Georgia defensive lineman Jalen Carter, he could be a guy that goes number one when you look at all these things that play out. Now, I think obviously most people agree, probably going to be a quarterback this year. Bears likely going to trade out of that spot, whatever happens. But that doesn't change the fact that Jalen Carter is a top-level talent, and a lot of people are considering taking him in those top five picks. It looks like all that might be impacted with the news that just came out this morning. Jalen Carter subject of arrest warrant after fatal crash that killed Georgia teammate. And this is in reference to the, the car crash that did kill his teammate and someone that works on the Georgia team. A sad accident, but it did involve them going over 100 miles an hour. Uh, that He was drunk at the time. That's what ended up leading to this. Now it looks like Jalen Carter might have been in another car that was racing with him at that time. The athens Clark County Police Department issued an arrest warrant for Jalen Carter for reckless driving and racing in regards to the January car crash that killed Georgia offensive lineman Devin Willick and recruiting analyst Chandler LaCroix. Seth Emerson of The Athletic shared the warrant that said LaCroix and Carter were operating their vehicles in a manner consistent with racing shortly after leaving downtown Athens around 2.30 a.m., Investigators determined alcohol impairment, racing, reckless driving, and speed were significant contributing factors to the crash. It should be clear that when it comes to this, the, the, both of these charges are misdemeanors. It's not like they're felonies or anything like that. It's not even about so much the punishment that he could get. It's about the look, about a guy that is looking at going in the top couple spots in the NFL draft. All of a sudden, he's involved in racing in something that, it, that killed people. Like, that's what happens. You got Henry Ruggs III over here. That's what people are saying about Jalen Carter right now. And in fact, he also lied to the police about this entire thing when it happened. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports that Jalen Carter first told the police he was nearly a mile away when the fatal crash happened, then said he was behind the other vehicle, could see its taillights, and then said he was alongside the car when it crashed. Georgia football staffer Chanley LaCroix was driving and Georgia offensive lineman Devin Willock was a passenger. Both died. Another football staffer and player were injured. Police questioned Carter then about whether he was racing the other car and Carter denied it. Well, it looks like he's now in trouble for misleading the police and he has a warrant out for these things. He's about to get arrested for these misdemeanors on the week of the NFL Combine. Could not come at a worse time for this dude. And as you can see, you look at, this is just one person's big board, but you got Will Anderson from Alabama, Bryce Young from Alabama, and Jalen Carter from Georgia right there. Pretty much everybody's big board, he's somewhere in the top five. Some people think he's the best player in this draft. Well, it looks like teams are going to have a big decision to make on whether he's worth that draft pick with all this drama that will be surrounding him now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.